here we're going to have a look at the eScanner event log. Um, I'm, I've, I've uh, uh, just opened the application. I, I, I'm uh, just about to connect to the server. So we 192.168.1.2. We've got 0222 two, and connect. This will go to the server. Uh, when I click here, this is going to use um, integrated security. Yes, we click there, it's off to connect. It's connected, it's uh, picked up the last address space that was, was scanned 255 nodes. It's connected to the database, we're ready to go. I want to do a scan, I want to get all the, uh, so f then I go to, uh, it's all done a scan before, so and, uh, and it, whether it was this application or one of the others, they all sh will populate the same database. So um, these are nodes that have been found on the network before. I then go and have a look at the, over here, get logs. These are the, l l these are the machines. Now what we have here is a, a, a PDC and a, two PDCs, and we have a machine that's not on the domain, a machine that's not on the domain, a printer, a mobile phone, a printer, a laptop, a router. So uh, then they're a combination of can't get, there's no logs and they're not in the domain, so I couldn't get the logs anyway. So the only two that I can really uh, to act, interact with here at the moment are those two. So we select them, they are selected. We want to, we're told the application that the next scan that I do, I want it to pull in the logs. Um, so we now are ready to go. We, we've got an address space, we've got a server. We wouldn't be able to see this if we didn't. Um, and then if we watch down there, that's where we're going to get information about how long it's taking to do it. We click the button and straight away 157 nodes and 254 done in two seconds and that's scanned um, to a Class C network uh, in two seconds. And we can go and see the results and this will be a combination of results got uh, obtained previously and the results that we've just obtained now. Um, it's by default, it's grouped by host name. If I tell it to um, uh, full collapse, and then uh, we can just uh, scroll over. Then we can see each box. We can see the boxes, everything, the the uh, the uh, event logs by box, and I can group by domain member type. So PDC mem uh, workstation laptop. Well, that's not my domain member. Sorry, physical type laptop uh, static uh, box. I can group by those things and look at the look at the, look at things that way. I can also group by entry type. Uh, by the event entry type, so information, error, warning. I can group by source, so I can bring together all the TCP, IP type events, or SQL Server events, Exchange Server events, things like that. I can bring them all into one place, regardless of the, where they were on, on the, uh, what machines they were on. I can look at them all and look at patterns in the data and see if there's something going on that's uh, that's occurring to multiple multiple machines at the same time. And and I can look at this data in a way that I wouldn't be able to normally look at because currently with any standard system related tools you would be able to look at one box at a time but you can't actually see that all together in one place and of course there are other pro products that do this sort of thing but um, not at the speed that uh, you know two seconds for a class C network anyway um, so uh, we we can see the and if we want to know the details of any one of these we simply click on that and that will op open up and give us the details so this was on this server so windows 2003 pdc it's a static box this is a windows update agent uh, information uh, event and these are, we just simply go down through and we can see the events and we can group uh, as i say we can say well they were all information but so that isn't going to help really, uh, because they are all information. But if they've been, we've now got the, the grouped by um, the host name of the box and entry type. Now, so we can see this is the box, and then we would have information, error, warning. We can filter, so we can click on the little filter, and we can say filter. I just want to see information. I just want to see errors. I just want to see warnings, whatever that might be. Um, I only want to see PDCs. I only want to see workstations. So we got all the filtering and grouping functionality. Um, and see, so, so this is again by the box. In this case, a little bit pointless because all of the events were were information events. There's no point really in grouping them. But um, I can say ungroup that. Uh, ungroup. Let's say if I regroup by source, and now we're grouped by machine and now by source. So these are all event log events, and these are an MTP or whatever. Uh, and this is the NT service pack. And so these are events now they're all grouped by type and that would apply to all the machines and so we can bring everything together but i i, I had grouped them by um by by machine first but if i do it if i did it the other way around if i bring that to the front i can now say well these are all the event log events and oops, open up and this is the machines that by machine 
and um, and now I can see uh, all of the events of that type and and I could group by date and time so I could see what's occurred across the entire network um, by by date or between dates and things like that so there there we are thank you very much